Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope that all of you are doing well. So today, as per the series of the fluid mechanics problem solving series, we're gonna be solving uh, this problem today. So let's start it. So let's start it by reading the question. A, a multi uh, um, a multi fluid container is connected to a U tube. So this is a U tube. U shaped. Okay. So shown in this figure for the given specific gravity and fluid column heights determine the gauge pressure at a so at point a we have to determine the gauge pressure also determine the height of the mercury column that would create the same pressure at a okay so we'll gonna be uh, starting this from the point a from this point we're gonna determine and uh, before starting uh, to write or generate the equation we have to determine a base point or the or a base height from which point we're gonna be uh, determining or from which reference point we're gonna be uh, using to create uh, or generate our equation so let's start building the equation so if i start from this point p of a uh, let let's uh, assume that the pressure over here that is p of a okay so it will be uh, it will be equal to i can say it will be equal to the uh, pressure of that side or you can also uh, just divide the two parts okay so let's start it okay so p of a okay also we can do one thing okay i think that will be better to just start from one end and just write down all the equations respectively okay so as we have been we have uh, assumed that the pressure build up or generated over here is p of a then then uh, i will quickly showing you the sign conversion if the datum line uh, if the height is going or if the fluid is going uh, this way or if uh, I have to go downward to reach the datum line so I will be taking it as negative negative pressure and if it's going upward then I will take it as positive pressure okay so by relying on this I will gonna generate the equation so it will be P of A then mm, as it is going downward so it will be negative 90 as it is centimeter so it will be divided by 100 h then we're gonna be determining the rho and g right so to determine the rho we have the given the specific gravity so the specific gravity is equal to the uh, rho g you can say it as rho g uh, of glycerin divided by the rho g of water irrespective to, okay so so as it is rho g and this is also rho g this is of, for water and this is for oil or glycerin substances okay so as we uh, are seeing that here the value of g right g is same so g will be crossed and the specific gravity will be the rho of the oil or that substance divided by the rho of w okay so if we multiply the rho of w with the sg we're gonna get the rho of the glycerin or oil okay respectively okay so let's continue with our equation so rho g so the rho will be okay so the rho will be 1.26 1.26 multiplied by 1000 so this is this total is our rho multiplied by we'll gonna uh, have to write the g as rho uh, sorry this is our h and this is our rho and this is g so h rho g part okay uh, then after that what we're gonna be doing is Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is this one let's run over here 
so then after afterward we have reached the determine then we'll gonna be inclined so as we will gonna be inclining what will what to will be getting is that uh, as we are going upward so what we'll be getting is just plus 18 divided by 100 okay 18 divided by 100 multiplied by as per design it will be 1.26 into 1000 into 9.8 okay so then again plus 35 divided by 100 multiplied by 1000 multiplied by 9.8 okay then again plus 80 divided by 100 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by 0 0.0.9 0 .9 into 1000 okay so this will be a regenerated equation for us so as we're gonna calculate this whole so as we're gonna be calculating this okay so this will be equal to zero okay so let's calculate okay so as for the pa so p of a will be okay so here i think we have messed up in the sign convention Okay, so here we are gonna have one change over here one sec so the change will be p of a equals to okay p of a will be equal to this part so as per this we will take p of a equals to this part so we are taking p of a equals to this summation okay so for this we have done this thing and p of a equals to for minus 90 uh, this we are gonna calculate and we are gonna get 1 1 1 1 4 1 3.2 okay then we are gonna have for 18 which will be our 2 2 2 2 point 64 we're gonna we're gonna get plus three four three zero and then we're gonna get seven zero five six for this one for 80 we're gonna get uh this one seven zero five six for the 35 we're gonna get three four three zero and this is the respective so p of a will be equal to let me calculate it real quick for you guys. It will be 7056 plus 3430 plus 2222.64 minus 1113.2. That will be giving us 1595.4. Pascals, Pascal. Okay, so if we take it in kilopascals, so it will be p of a equals to one point five nine five kilo pascal, which is close to one point one point six six kilo pascal. Okay, so this part is done. So now we have to determine the second part. So before going to the second part, what we're gonna uh, do or what we're gonna uh, let's clear a concept from here. So to clear the concept here in completing the or completing or forming the equation, we're gonna start from one side. Okay, so we're gonna start from one side in the sense that P of A.
Okay, so we're gonna uh, determine from here. So p of a equals to this part. Uh, p of a here form a formed pressure. This will be equal to. Okay, this will be equal to the pressure forming by the rest. So p of a equals to the pressure forming by the rests. Okay. Also, you can uh, start it or you can think it as a backward calculation over here. So if we start from this point okay from if we start from this point as per this hand rule we're gonna do what we're gonna for for this part we're gonna do h rho g right plus h rho g so this is plus h rho g 80 for 80 centimeter then we're gonna do for this water part right 35 so it will also be plus so this is 35 plus okay so again we're gonna take from this 18 18 it will also be plus as it is going toward the datum line okay so 18 so this is the 18 part plus okay so from after that from the datum line we're gonna rise so when we rise we will use the negative sign convention right okay so we're gonna use the negative sign convention so as we are going to use the negative sign convention oh okay we are going to use the negative sign convention so as we are going to use the negative sign convention this is the negative sign convention okay okay so this is the thing and this is how we have determined the things and also if we if you uh, have gone through the uh, previous one like when i was saying that p of a equals to uh, this equals to zero it that also will work but for that sign will be a little bit different okay so if we write this it is also correct or if we write change the signs plus this is minus this is minus and this is minus equals to zero this is also right so this is actually the thing what we are going to use okay so let's uh, complete it then after that what we're gonna do is after determining so we're gonna determine the h rho g okay so i'm just simply quickly uh, removing this part okay so for that what we have to do what we have to h rho g equals to what we have to determine mercury column that would create the same pressure at h okay also determine the height of a mercury column that would create the same pressure okay so the same pressure the pressure over here is we determined 1.595 kilopascal but will be okay so if we use 1.66 or 1.55 then our h will be in meters and if we determine it from the pascal will our uh, we will get the centimeter so let's use the 1.55 so it will be okay so 1.5595 multiplied by okay so we're gonna use this one okay so we're gonna uh, h to g equals to this we're gonna be determining it using in pascal so this is the thing okay so after writing h will be this part divided by this part divided by rho of or rho of the uh, hg so the row of hg is 113.6 sorry 13.6 multiplied by 1000 okay and multiplied by 9.8 but we got this okay so the h will be nearly 0 0.0120 meters okay and if we convert it it will be 1.21 centimeter nearly to 1.24 so this is how we solve the equation for this okay thank you everyone see you in the next video